way back. We just released that red-tailed hawk, and we're on the way back to Cedar City. And, and uh, here's a little interesting tidbit for everybody. If you come to Utah, uh, and you're in what we call open rangeland, which is basically what most of this is, uh, please keep your eye open for the cattle. Uh, Utah is what we call an open range state which basically means that the livestock have the right-of-way and they do uh, feed along the roadside quite a bit and will cross the roads uh, in front of vehicles and uh, let, let me tell you yeah end up hitting a, one of these big old cows it, it, it just completely ruin your day it really will and uh, unfortunately, the cattle here are black. Uh, well, we got uh, kind of a cream colored one there, but they're, most of them out here are black. And so if you're driving out in, in the open range country at nighttime, and there's a black cow on a black road on a black night, it can be incredibly dangerous. So you really do have to keep your eyes open when you're, when you're driving at night uh, throughout uh, a lot of the more rural states, but Utah especially, uh, to watch out for, for livestock and also, you know, deer and elk uh, on the road as well. Uh, you hit one of these cows, uh, can't, you know, can just completely destroy your car, kill the cow, and uh, there's been some fatalities uh, with people who have hit livestock. Uh, this, the speed limit on this road it's about 70 until we just get around to the corner and it slows down as we get a little closer to civilization it goes down to 55. so imagine hitting a big old cow at 70 miles an hour it would be devastating but if you're out in the open rangeland uh, please drive safe don't want to lose any of my friends Love watching these cattle across the street. <clears throat> these are black Angus, and uh, they spend the summers up on the mountain pastures. They come down here for the winter before they have calves, and they usually have the whole pasture to run, to you know, to wander in the winter time. But they supplement them with hay all winter long, and then in the last little bit of spring, when the pastures start growing they fence them into a smaller area so that the, their hay fields can grow but these guys always get so excited when the feed truck comes out twice a day and they follow it and then it starts shooting out hay and they'll make a, a long path so that the cows can spread out and eat We had a nice rain yesterday. We needed it. It's spreading out food as it goes. 
Look at those little calves to run to catch up. The little calves are cute and they love to run and play. I enjoy living across the street from a ranch. When we moved out here over 40 years ago, they used to raise sheep. We used to have sheep go down our road frequently when they were moving them from winter, winter grounds to mountain pastures. Obviously the cows and the calves all get pretty excited when the food truck comes around every day, twice a day. I think that whole big giant bucket is completely full when they feed them twice a day. One of the nice things about uh, living where we live is this is one of Susan's favorite things to do is to watch the uh, the baby livestock out uh, running and playing and bouncing around and you know this is just out of our front yard we have this uh, cattle ranch. Yeah. It's all alfalfa in the the summer months and they'll come out the cattle will spend their summer up on the mountains grazing on the native vegetation. Yep. No, beautiful place. We love it here. Because when we first moved here there was they had it was a sheep ranch. They only had one or two cows. It's it's uh, sheep farming isn't very profitable anymore. They they went to cattle. Let's go run our errands.